Hey guys, what's going on? I'm John Malecki, and as most of you know that I've recently built a set of shop doors and didn't put any hardware on them. And because I'm a cheap ass, instead of going and buying a set of hardware, Sam and I got the wheels turning and we snagged up some hatchets and decided to make these. So the final thing we need to do to wrap these doors up after we got them installed was uh, get some handles. And after doing some research, I realized that it's way too expensive to do like normal handles. So I'm gonna spend all that money. Let's do something epic. So with that, I reached out to Columbia River Knife and Tool Company about getting some of their tomahawks. That way we could turn four of those tomahawks into the handles for this door. So here's a cutoff from when we made the doors. The concept we're thinking is we're gonna mount them somehow um, on each side of the door and then run a pin in between like a plate or something on the front here so that way we can uh, screw from the outside and keep them fastened in and then uh, depending on how secure that is maybe run a rod from the bottom so we're going to practice first um, kind of get the concept on here I kind of like that distance. So if I have the knife kind of facing straight now, it means only the top would be, need to be inserted. You know, here to maybe here, one and three quarter inches. So my initial thought was take the palm router, I didn't like how that looked with that uh, quarter inch bit. So we're gonna use an eighth inch bit. <clears throat> and I'm kind of debating like how to get these both to stay in the door and make it look nice and clean. I think I've got a solution, but we'll see. Once I hack one of these up, pretty much it, huh? We'll grind all these heads down and we'll see if I can get a technique to get <clears throat> a piece of metal that'll fit in a slot like this. Let's go see what I got. So if the door's an inch and a half wide, probably need three quarters of Cut it inch and a half first. Let's see if the welder fits. Yeah, I think I can just see enough that if I do it like this, I can. So because we have the glass in there and we're concerned about, by the way, I mean I'm concerned about breaking it, we're gonna leave them on and since it's only an eighth inch uh, router bit, I should be able to just plunge it in here and get it, uh, get it done on here and then we'll just take some light passes, punch our whole way through. Um, we'll do it on both sides and then come in from the outside here just like we did on the practice piece and I'll be able to uh, 
weld these into place and hopefully don't screw this up too bad. So now everything's welded into place. We're thinking in order to get these, they're pretty damn good, but in order to keep them nice and tight, I'm gonna drill a little pilot hole, put a screw in, and then the screw, I'll use, the other, I'll use it to pull the other side in, and I'll plug it from this side. I don't have hickory that's gonna be able to match this. So instead, I figure I'll just use something that I got, which is the white oak that we use in the doors. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you want to see the actual building of these doors, I got it queued up for you right here. I also want to thank my sponsor for this, Build Jet. If you want to see more of the tools that I'm using from them, I've got them all linked down in the description. And lastly, thank you one more time for tuning in. Go punch your next project in the face, and I'll see you on the next video.